I think this is just a sit down moment with you because parang I just wanted to be vulnerable. Parang I wanted to create a space na I don't want to be too concerned about what I will speak about. I mean, of course, we we as content creators need to be focused and concerned about you know whatever subject we'll be talking about i prayed kanina na I, I wanted to create a space where i can be genuine i can be vulnerable na hindi ko isipin kung ano man yung mga ma-share ko na baka may mga lumabas na Umiyak ako, umiyak ako. May mga ganun talagang content creators, di ba? I mean, I am truly amazed when when I see content creators or YouTubers who can just freely express themselves on social media. Tapos, alam mo yung, they can, they can be very vulnerable. And I don't think I have tried it before or I don't think I already attempted that but right now I guess it's official that this is the first time <laughs> that I'll be doing this and basically guys I just want to share my heart out um, first of all I want to ask how are you doing I hope that you are well I hope that you are in good shape and in a good healthy peaceful joyful place um gusto ko lang ding magpasalamat sa inyo for being here in this channel and supporting me if this is your first time coming here and watching this video maraming salamat um yeah i just wanted to create this space where I can share my life as an artist or I can be of help for you as well if you are journeying with God as well or if you are starting to have a journey with God. So today I just want to talk about so I just basically want to share with you kung papaano ko unang naintindihan yung pagmamahal ni Lord sa akin. So it was in 2017 where I get to be surrounded with people um, who reintroduced, basically reintroduced God to me, reintroduced Jesus to me, and dun ako parang officially naging intentional about getting to know God. Like, God, actually wala pa ako expectation like eh, wala ako, basically wala akong expectation kung ano yung madidiscover ko or kung ano pa yung marirediscover ko about God, but I was just in that phase of my life in 2017 na I was seeking for the real peace, real joy, real hope, real God. And so there's one person, um, her name is Cha, and I just want to shout out to si Cha. She's the person who who really sat down with me and reintroduced Jesus to my life and reintroduced His love. During our discipleship journey, um, she encouraged me to, re, to read, to reread the book of John. And hindi naman ako palabasa talaga ng Bible. If I remember during high school or during my younger years. Wow, younger years. Parang tanda ko na. I mean, yung high school um, or college years, I only grab a Bible when I, when 
I'm feeling down or kung may problema ako sa school or sa family or whatever that is, dun lang ako nagbubukas ng Bible. And I remember, mahilig akong magbukas ng Book of Psalms. I just love the way the words are written and the parang kanta siya. And, you know, as um, a songwriter, sobrang na-appreciate ko yun. And I even wrote a song for the first time in high school about inspired by by psalms by a psalm it was psalm 63 and i'm really hoping and praying na ma-share ko yun sa inyo uh, one day but during that time in 2017 um she asked me or she actually encouraged me to read uh, the book of john and i just like to share that with you yung pinakaunang verse that really spoke to me deeply that it was the first time na parang I mean I've been singing that before I've been singing the the scripture I've been praying it in the church before pero I never actually had a deep connection with it na parang I truly understood what it meant and when I read it hindi ko maintindihan kung bakit sobrang tumulo lang yung luha ko and that's what I want to share with you right now um, it's when you go to the book of John um, John 1 and I'm reading in the NLT version Jesus the Lamb of God verse 29 uh, the next day John saw Jesus coming toward him and said, Look, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. That, that's the verse. Hindi ko mapigilan yung luha ko. So nung nabasa ko yun, parang it was the first time na parang pinakita sa akin ni Lord na Rhea I am the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world including your sins So parang yung time na yun parang sobrang na-appreciate ko si Lord Dahil alam ko na sobrang dami kong mga pagkukulang, ang dami kong mga hindi sinunod, ang dami kong, ang dami kong kasalanan, basically. Na parang feeling ko ako na yung pinakamasamang anak sa mundo, ako na yung pinakamasamang tao, pinakamasamang kaibigan, pinakamasamang nila lang. Na I even remember um, in my very first apartment nung time na I realized I needed to be intentional with my walk with God. Basically, lumipat ako ng isang apartment. Tapos, there was one time na sobra kasi bumabalik to sa akin, sa mind ko na sobra makasalanan ko and I don't want to as much as I want to to reject sin, lagi at lagi talaga akong lagi at lagi talaga akong hinaharap ng ng ano ng temptation sobrang dami uh, kasi mahirap talaga sa mundo aminin, aminin natin yan there was one time na I was even I was the one um, who even condemns myself sa sa mga sa mga pagkukulang ko sa kanya na experience niyo ba yun yung parang hindi na si hindi na kailangan nung hindi na kailangan ng enemy na i-condemn kanya kahit sinabi naman ni Lord na ang linaw ang linaw-linaw na you are no longer condemned because you are with God already so parang ako kapag naaalala ko or kapag nagkaharoon ako ng ng 
nahaharap pa rin ako sa temptation. Feeling ko, dinidespise ko na yung sarili ko na anak ng Diyos. And I even, I even told him na hindi mo ako anak. Bring me to hell dahil hindi mo ako anak. Even now, as I talk about this, parang kahit ngayon, yung heart ko parang may ganun pa rin na parang Lord. Ang dami kong pagkukulang. Ang dami kong pagkukulang sa'yo. Um, hindi ikaw yung naging number one sa buhay ko. Pero alam ko na, alam ko naman sa heart ko. Alam ko naman sa heart ko. Alam ko naman sa isip ko na ganun ako kamahal ni Lord na lahat ng kasalanan ko, yung past, yung present, at yung even yung future sins ko, lahat yun pinatawad niya na. And if you are also listening to this, maybe this could be a reminder for you as well na kung sa tingin mo, ikaw na yung pinakamasamang tao at wala ka ng mukhang maihaharap sa Panginoon, maybe this is a reminder for you as well na Mahal na mahal ka ni Lord at lagi siyang handang yakapin ka. Lagi siyang handang patawarin ka. Lagi siyang handang akayin ka, pabalik sa Kanya. Yun yung position ng heart ko ngayon na parang I just want to be near you. I just want you to be my number one. Kasi ito yung ito yung guilty ako. And I want to be very honest with you as well. Na if you are like me, who is guilty, na parang hindi si Lord yung nagiging number one, I believe na all we need to do is to preach the gospel to ourselves again na ito yung ginawa ni Lord sa buhay ko. Ito yung ginawa ni Lord sa buhay natin. Na he is the most willing person. He's the most willing who can sacrifice his own life to his beloved, to his children. He is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. It is finished. We already know how the story ends. Hindi na si Lord patay. Buhay si Lord. Buhay si Jesus. And kasama natin siya. He's with us. He's with you. Sometimes inisip ko, ang dami ko mga, ang dami ko mga worries sa buhay. Ang dami ko mga concerns about the future. Kasi imagine I'm still single. If you are like me who is 30-ish, years old and wala pang sariling family. Siyempre, hindi naman natin may iwasan na maging concerned about our future or even yung finances or yung family, yung paano mo ma-reach out yung family mo, paano mo mapapakilala si Jesus sa mga tao, paano mo ramdam sa kanila na mahal din sila ni Lord. So, ang dami-daming mga concerns, ang dami-daming mga bagay na na mga nasa isip ko. Pero sobrang dami ng concerns ko, hindi na, hindi na tuloy si Lord yung nagkukonsume ng utak ko, kundi yung mga bagay na yun. Gets niyo ba ako, guys? Yung parang sobrang gusto kong i-please si Lord. Sobrang gusto kong magsilbi sa Kanya. Sobrang gusto kong mapakilala din siya sa mga taong hindi pa siya kilala. At sa sobrang kagustuhan kong gawin yun lahat, nakakalimutan ko na tuloy siya. <laughs> Nak- nakakalimutan ko na tuloy na umupo at kaming dalawa lang <laughs> yung mag-usap. Kaming dalawa lang yung alam mo yun. Alam mo yun. Naintindihan nyo yun guys. Sobra. I mean um, yun. So maybe I'm talking to to you who is already, already a follower of Jesus and yun. I just 
want to um, to share that um, he is the one who can only forgive us si Lord lang yung yung tanging makakapagbigay sa atin ng totoong peace totoong joy sa totoo lang guys kung hindi ko to alam kung hindi ko alam tong truth na to hindi ako magiging ganito ka-confident um, as I continue my journey um, dito sa mundong ito because this world is really dangerous. It's really a dangerous place. This is really a challenging and chaotic place. Walang firm foundation. Walang Wala akong ganitong klaseng faith kung hindi dahil sa mga dasal din ng mga tao sa akin na maintindihan ko kung anong ibig sabihin ng kung anong ibig sabihin ng resurrection ni Lord, kung anong ibig sabihin ng ginawa niya sa cross, kung anong ibig sabihin ng pagkamatay niya sa cross. So right now, um, I'm just really grateful na I get to learn this and I get to to live this out. Um, yun. I just want to thank you guys for your time and for being with me right now. And I hope and pray that you will be reminded of how God loves you. Na he has done the best sacrifice for you and for me. Na kahit kaano tayo, kahit kaano, kahit kaano kadaming pagkukulang natin sa kanya, he is always ready to to welcome us back. Dahil ginawa niya na eh. Ginawa niya na yung pinaka pinaka matinding sakripisyo. Siya yung nagbigay ng pagmamahal. Dakilang pagmamahal na hindi kayang ibigay ng kahit na sino man dito sa mundo. I hope na you are having a great time. A great you know time with your family i pray that you will just have peace that surpasses all understanding yung peace na galing kay lord so thank you guys um yeah thank you for being with me so i'll see you next time